Is this the first time you guys have met before? No, we've no, spoken. We backstage. And Carol was <laughs> Carol was hands down my toughest interview uh, on on the BNL transition to four piece. She would not let me off the hook. <laughs> BNL transition to four piece sounds like something I ordered at a fish and chip shop back it home. It is, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's uh, from Kaboom Korean Chicken down at uh, Broadview. And you haven't even done anything illegal yet for me really to get my teeth into you, Ed. Do you know what Carol did But we were backstage? She said, uh, she journalisted me. She said, I said, Carol, you're going to come on. Did they tell you what the name of the songs are we're going to play for you yet? She goes, yes, but remind me. <laughs> and you know what I did? I went, okay. And I told come her a couple on. of the songs until one of our producers was like, Tom, she obviously so. I, how, like, how tricky was that, right? Yeah. I mean, honestly. <laughs> she pulled the old wabbit season, duck season yeah. on you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get into Jam or Not a Jam. The only, so we're going to listen to the songs. After we play them, you're going to tell me whether you think they're a jam or not a jam. Um, the only twist is these are all holiday numbers. Jam, then. I got to go jam. You're going jam with everything. They're single all one? jams. Carol's not on board? I'm, I'm, I'm looking at, like, saccharin here, not jam. Yeah. All right, all right, okay. you got it. Psalm, let's hear the first track. That is Wham! and Last Christmas. Ed, jam or not a jam? That's, uh... A deeply sad song, <laughs> and yet a jam. It's, it's nearly impossible to play me a Wham! or George Michael song and have me not say jam immediately. I can see Carol deeply agrees with you. What, is my, <laughs> what does my arch nemesis think? <laughs> You know, this season, the music that they play, I just barely endure. But on that, that's my baseline endurance. I'd say jam. Jam. All right. It is, it is guilty of, of the saccharine uh, sweetness that, that we all fear. But it's still a jam. <laughs> all right. Next one. Take a listen to this. I love Justin Bieber. <laughs> when he was younger, his voice was so hot. Oh yeah, he, sound, he sounds great here, he really did. This is when he was still in Stratford. <laughs> Carol off, Mariah Carey and All I Want for Christmas is You, jam or not a jam? You know, not only is it not a jam, it's not even jelly. It's like not even, it's like... Wow. It's All like, right, hear her out everybody. She's a radio host, hear her out. We get some applause. Keep on going, Carol. It's some kind of syrup, like thin, treacly, corn syrupy thing. Doesn't even get to jelly. It's so. Luckily, I don't know the difference between jam and jelly. <laughs> um, I'm going to say uh, Carol has unfortunately seen the wrong side of Mariah Carey's face. Uh, you're not supposed to see the other side. She's always holding it one way. Right, right, I understand. Which is odd. So, what um, do you think, Ed? It's a jam. jam. Come it's on. A jam. That is an enduring jam. So, still no agreement yet, and we don't boo? appreciate the you're booze. Gonna... You're going to boo Hall of Famer Ed Robertson? <laughs> Ed, you're a Christmas pushover. You honestly. are, you are, you are. You're an elf on the shelf. Take a listen to this. There's the next song. Long time ago in Bethlehem, so the Holy Father said, Mary's born child, Jesus Christ, was born on Christmas. That is the great Boney M and Mary's boy child. Carol, jam or not a jam? Oh, jam. Absolutely, that's a jam. I love that one. Wow. The Grinch. Her heart just grew three sizes. What are you looking at me for? <laughs> you know I'm going to say a jam. Here's, here's the weird thing about Ed Robertson. I'm an atheist with 48 days of Christmas music on my hard drive. <laughs> When I press shuffle on my holiday music, it says 48.3 days remaining. I collect Christmas music like some people collect old wizened clocks and watches. 
I cannot get enough Christmas music. And Boney M is like, that's... But you know, if you live in my household, which is... I'm I would love to live in your you household. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. Married to a Cape Bretoner. Yeah, I mean, you're right. So yeah, what absolutely. happens is that Christmas music, music is actually sad in my household. I mean, things, no, yeah. they like sad Celtic songs. Oh, 100%. And so, so Christmas music is really... It's is, mournful. It's yeah. mournful. If there's not a mine involved, it's not a Christmas song. That's how it works. That's how it works out there. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, it's a, yeah. It's a, uh, okay, so we have one more sort of classic before we go to the harder stuff. Okay. Um, take a listen to this. It's Christmas time in, in Hollis, Queens. Queens. Mom's, Mom's cooking, cooking chicken, chicken and collard greens. Under Christmas trees. So that is featuring Ghost Record Scratches by Ed Robertson. Run DMC and Christmas and Hollis. Ed, you're up. Uh, it almost defines jam. It, uh, it, it, it was really, it was one of the first original hip hop Christmas carols. And Run DMC were groundbreakers in so many arenas. And uh, jam, jam for everything they did. Jam for this particular drac. Jam for the spirit of Christmas. Right. It's a Christmas miracle, that Carol, track. Carol, what do you think? Cameron on a jam. All right, so jam is in the middle, and then there's, then there's jelly and all the way over to saccharin on the other side. What's on the other side? I have to say marmalade, right? Marmalade's like, it's like sweet, but it's got chunky, bitter bits in it, and it's hard and sweet at the same time. I'm going to go with... Uh, Jammy marmalady, Seville marmalady. Interesting. So not a jam, not a jam. So definitely, but better than jam. Better, right, than, better a jam. than jam. All better right, give her, give her, give her. On this side of jam. Yeah, I'm with Carol on that one. That's that's a peanut butter and jam. Whoa. All right, let's take this to the next level and maybe get me fired from the CBC. Take a listen to this. Wait for the chorus. Taking care of business. No, it's listen closely. Taking care of Christmas. Uh, care of Christmas wow. By BTO. That's a real song. Taking care of Christmas on a sleigh. Ed Robertson is Taking Care of Christmas by Randy Bachman a jam. I, I, I mentioned that I have 48 days of Christmas music. <laughs> That song is not among Oh! Them. I love you, Randy. I love you deeply. And I appreciate the fact that you were there for the conception of every song that was written from 1950 to 1998. Uh, but that's, that's, that's really far from a jam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Carol? Well, you know I have a bias here, don't you? You are? Because... There's Randy Bachman, my old neighbor from Winnipeg. And he was just around the corner, and the Bachmans, there's a lot of kids in the family. And well, Randy, Randy jumped from the roof of their house once. And we were so amazed and it, kind did of. He, did he jump from the roof just after recording that song? <laughs> he, well, he landed on his head, and we didn't think anything was going to come of it, right? We were so surprised that he did so well. He was our, our, our boy in the neighborhood. Could have been his brother. Of course, the, the facts don't matter you know, in Q, do they? Can I, can, I, can, I, <laughs> can, I put my, can I put my journalism hat on here? I seems mean, like facts too good to check, I seem, would say. Seems like you're dodging the question here, Carol. I'm not no, going to lie to you. Definitely, I have to go with the sentimental jam. Yeah, all right, all right. All right. And we have one song, which is maybe the most polarizing holiday song ever. Wait, wait, wait. The second most polarizing holiday song ever. Take a listen to this. The party's on, the feeling's here, that only comes to time of year. Simply having a wonderful Christmas time. That is Sir Paul McCartney with a song that has hotly divided our office. Ed, I'll start with you. Is Wonderful Christmas Time a jam or not a jam? Uh, I think Sir Paul uh, can do no wrong. I think that song, the very first time I heard it, I was like, this is corny. And then halfway through it, I'm singing along with it. Like halfway, 
not even afterwards it's stuck in your head. Like halfway, you're like, how, does he, how is he in my mind? He's amazing. It's a jam. Carol? Well, you say about your office being divided. I've seen fistfights break out over this one. <laughs> people, people tearing each other, they're grabbing each other's throats and say, it's a jam, it's not a jam. <laughs> it really brings out everything in people, right? But I have to say, I mean, if we're going to go to that, that spectrum once again, past jelly, past corn syrup, <laughs> past sugar water, past sugar getting water. getting into sweet and low saccharin, yeah. Way, way down there. Not a jam. Oh. Wow. Wow. There you have it, our holiday edition of Jam or Not a Jam. Give it once up once again for the host of CBC's As It Happens, Carol Off, nice and the front man for Mirror Naked Ladies, Ed Robertson, everybody. Yeah.